Hello everyone, today in this lecture we are going to learn speech accommodation, and its characteristics but before I explain this lecture if you are new to my channel then please like the video and subscribe the channel. Let's start it. It can be defined as Speech accommodation refers to the way individuals adjust their language, speech patterns, or communication style to fit the listener or the social context. What does it mean? Simply, it means that speakers adjust their communication style to either become more similar or more distinct from the person they are interacting with. Simply, you can say speech accommodation refers to the way people adjust their language and communication style in response to their conversation partner. This adjustment can be conscious or unconscious and may involve changes in vocabulary, tone, speed, or even accent. In other words you can say when you adjust your speech according to the listener is called speech accommodation. There must be a question in your mind that why it is important. So let me tell you in simple words that speech accommodation plays a significant role in communication because it helps facilitate understanding, build social relationships, and navigate social dynamics. It can enhance communication by reducing misunderstandings and increasing the comfort level of all parties involved. As you have understood that speech accommodation refers to the adaptation of speaker's language according to the listener, but there must be a question in your mind that what a speaker accommodates in his speech. So let me tell you some of the characteristics of speech accommodation then you will be able to understand it. The first point is Accent This is the main point in speech accommodation, it means that changing the way you pronounce words. For example, if you're speaking to someone with a British accent, you might start pronouncing words like they do without even realizing it. This can make the other person feel more connected to you. Changing one's accent to align with that of the listener, whether by adopting a regional dialect, softening one's native accent, or adopting a more neutral one. Simply, you can say that when you adopt your accent according to the listener's accent so this is also one of the characteristics of speech accommodation. Vocabulary choice. This is another characteristic of speech accommodation which means using similar words or expressions as the person you're talking to. Imagine talking to a friend who loves a particular slang you might start using those words too. Or, if you're talking to a little kid, you might use simpler words. Simply, you can say that according to the listener we modify or change our vocabulary. It is universally accepted phenomenon that we don't use the same vocabulary for every person. So this is also one of the main characteristics of speech accommodation. Speech rate and rhythm, this is another point that is included in speech accommodation. Basically, this is about matching how fast or slow someone speaks. If someone talks slowly, you might slow down too. Or, if they speak quickly, you might speed up to keep the energy of the conversation going. Actually, intentionally or unintentionally we make our speech fast or slow according to our listener, so this is also one of the characteristics of speech accommodation. Convergence, this is another main point of speech accommodation. It is when we naturally change our way of speaking to be more like the person we're talking to. We might change our accent, vocabulary, tone, or speed to match theirs. This is done for several reasons. The first reason is that it helps us feel closer to others and shows we're on the same page. Simply, it helps us to show to others that we are their friends and in the same page. Divergence, it is another main characteristic in speech accommodation. Basically, Divergence is the opposite of convergence, instead of adjusting our speech to sound more like the other person, we purposely make it different. This can be a way to highlight our own identity or set boundaries in conversation. Actually, 
In conversion we use the same vocabulary, tone, accent and speed to show that we are in the same page but in divergence we signal that we want to keep some distance from the other person, socially or emotionally. For instance, a manager might use formal language with employees to maintain authority, while the employees use more casual language with each other. I hope you have enjoyed this lecture but please don't forget like and subscription to my channel. Thank you.